A frigid spell has hit the Midwest, and the Wildcats are hopeful to break out of the doldrums of a cold snap shooting-wise as they host their fellow purple squad for the Big 12, the TCU Horn Frog. They, too, were ice cold, 58 points. That's it for the Horn Frogs, one of their season worst outputs. And a three-pointer put in on the right side by Ray. She has all five to begin the game. You defensively has not been necessarily their strength the last couple of years. Okonkwo finally hits a jumper, her first. Now they've got to settle down. This is a team where you can find shots against TCU in your half court. You've got to be aggressive, read the defense just as Ranky did. Up a lot this year against guards. Okonkwo with a nice ball fake, hammers in a three. And that's who you cannot allow to get going. He got hip checked by a Horn Frog player. Here's Goff working to the right side, leaning in and scoring again. In transition, TCU. Woods out to Ray, hits another three. Ray left open, hits another! 11 points in the first quarter for Ray. Well, this is where Kansas State's got to take advantage. But again, another turnover, number nine here. And TCU out creating some offense with very quick hands. Starting the beginning of the season for K-State. Williams to Goff, the back door. Goff open. She has eight points for K-State. Or at least a lost possession by K-State. Left open, Hurd hits a three-pointer. Five of 11 on the Horn Frogs from long distance. Both of these teams just trying to find that consistency factor here at the end of January. Peyton Williams able to hit a fadeaway. That's her first field goal. Actually, Ray in this game, too. Just not necessarily great matchups inside. Beard intercepts a pass to the point and takes it all the way in. So Beard makes an impact from the get-go. Open from three. Moore touches it for the first time, immediately is doubled. Okonkwu left wide open, buries the three-pointer. Ray left wide open, hits another three, her fourth. Down 17, forcing a Jeff Mitty timeout. Left wide open, Chrissy Carr hits a three-pointer, and that ends a streak of 23 straight misses. Williams back to Goff, the three-pointer. Rattles in at all 5-9 of her. Feeds Moore, who posted up car and one. There's the first field goal of the game for Jordan Moore. Quarter, K-State trying to chip away at a double-figure deficit. Williams, no-look pass, drops off to Jones. Both with four fouls. How long will they stay there? That's the question. Foot on the line. Hurd will hit the two-pointer. Moore doubled. Quickly it finds her, the three-pointer, you know it, for the sophomore. Williams top of the circle, contested three, can't get it. Williams trying to save it, does to Jones. Trying to get more, instead it's hurt again, another three, yes! And sometimes you start to run out of gas, but this team cannot just get complacent. Carr with a quick trigger right there off the three. Just slip the ball through. They find Jordan Moore and the foul by Williams, the and one. Defensively, they did enough to win, but offensively, it continues to be elusive for the Wildcats. TCU gets to 15 and five. They move into sole possession of fifth place in the Big 12 at five and four. K-State now 13 and eight. They have lost two straight. They are four and five and in sixth place.